with uh, discovery and, and everything else and and all the moves that are you know seemingly in response to what people viewers are responding to you see if, if it turns out that there's great interest in, in a movie like this then there are probably going to be other movies that come that direction from that kind of view uh, whatever it is and I don't know I, I don't know if uh, you know because they're scrapping so many movies right now and, and we're talking about hundreds of millions of dollars for the productions saying all right we're not going to do this and I think that there is a, a growing sense of it or I guess maybe a growing demand for things that don't have a message as you mentioned just sit down watch it just take your mind off the thing for you know the hour or two and it's you don't have to invest that kind of thought into it which brings us to Disney coming up yep different situations that arise when you're selling a home. Bob and Sandy Jameson, the Jameson team at Tuscana Properties have seen it all. For instance, this family needed to sell their mother's home in Richmond where they grew up to close out her estate, but they couldn't agree on a lot of things. There was some friction, an attorney had to get involved. The attorney reached out to Sandy for help in selling the property with her network of vendors, her amazing programs. The entire process was seamless, got the home ready for the market, sold it full price the first weekend. The, the squabbling stopped, the home got sold. Yeah, did you know the Jameson team has a buyers and waiting database of 12,000 buyers just waiting to buy your home now? No worries about unqualified buyers. Call the agents. We call to sell our homes. Bob and Sam Jameson, this Jameson team. I've been in real estate. I trust them. Call 408-686-HOME or online. SandyHasBuyers.com. Top dollar for your home. Click on SandyHasBuyers.com. The Jameson team just got a property. CRE license number 0184-5393. Attention victims of LDS Mormon Church sexual abuse. If you were sexually abused as a child by a member of the LDS Mormon clergy, listen closely as you may be entitled to substantial financial compensation. Even if it happened decades ago, it does not matter. New laws in California have been put in place to create a way for victims of child sexual abuse to finally get justice. And if you suffered abuses from any LDS church clergy member, including those who knew about the abuse but failed to stop it, call our law firm's 100% confidential Mormon abuse helpline at 800-589-1598. No matter how long ago the abuse happened, our attorneys may be able to get you justice, closure, and a very meaningful financial settlement. But hurry, there is a time deadline to file a case. So call 800-589-1598 right now to learn if you are eligible to seek justice and significant financial compensation while your case is held completely confidential. Call 800-589-1598. That's 800-589-1598. 800-589-1598. KFFO, Sean Hannity. The American economy is a disaster. Tell me what Joe Biden and Kamala Harris are doing to make you and your families more prosperous, to provide more opportunity for people. Another Democrat, President Truman, used to have that sign on his desk. The buck stops here. What do our current leaders have to say? Uh... The 41-year high in inflation speaks for itself. Hannity, noon to three on your radio and smart speaker at 560. To protect his family from disaster, Steve used his microphone. By taking pictures of his important documents, Steve can always have them stored online. Learn more simple disaster prep tips at ready.com. A message from Pima and the Ad Hey, son. How are you feeling? Um, I'm fine, Pop. What's on your mind? I just... I can't explain it. When your kid can't find the language, find the lyrics. Start a conversation at SoundItOutTogether.org. Brought to you by Ad Council and Pivotal Ventures. Joe Rotella with advanced synthetic technology is designed to help keep your rig running with more mileage and less maintenance. It's the most wonderful time of the year for pro drivers when you activate Push for Points in the My Rewards Plus app. Earn more loyalty points faster with every use of Philip and redeem your extra points.
points on great gifts for your loved ones. Activate Push for Points and earn up to four points per gallon after just six bills instead of 15 bills like the other guys. Download the My Rewards Plus app and activate Push for Points today. Only at Pilot Flying J. See pilotflyingj.com slash terms and conditions for My Rewards Plus terms and conditions. Red Eye Radio and our sponsors are devoted to trucking safety. That's why we're proud to bring you the Red Eye Radio Million Mile Club. We've been saluting drivers who have surpassed the million mile mark with preventable accident-free driving. By reaching this milestone, get to be a part of an elite club of drivers who share remarkable safety records and demonstrate superior driving skills. If you or someone you know is a truck driver with a million miles or more of driving under your belt without a preventable accident, register online at RedEyeRadioShow.com. That's RedEyeRadioShow.com. The Red Eye Radio Million Mile Club would not be possible without the generous support of the fine folks from Petro Stopping Centers, House Lubricator, Motel 6, the St. Christopher Fund, and Cat Scale. We applaud the individual truckers and fleets who drive with care and keep our highways safe. The Red Eye Radio Million Mile Club, devoted to trucking safety. Register online at RedEyeRadioShow.com. The St. Christopher Truckers Relief Fund is excited about our new diabetes prevention program, Driving Down Diabetes. This free, CDC-approved, year-long program includes live webinars focusing on nutrition, exercise, stress management, and more. This program is for those at risk not already diagnosed with diabetes. Visit our website at truckersfund.org and take the risk assessment under the Health and Wellness tab. This prevention program is sponsored by Southern Recipe. Get registered today at truckersfund.org. Max, 
basically under the umbrella of uh, Warner Brothers Discovery. You know, you're likely going to have more and more of this, you know, this, these huge entertainment conglomerates shoving all their properties into one streaming source, and then you, you jump on them. Disney ran into a couple of things, I think. Um, but it's all under the same um, problem and approach. You know, there were a number of things that were on Disney Plus. It was like, okay, well, there are certain things in the library we're not going to show them. We're not going to, you know, have a, we'll put a warning up or, right. you know, we'll label them a certain way. It's like, oh, okay, fine. Um, and, you know, then there is the agenda. You know, we talked about studios and, um, and, and which includes Warner Brothers, uh, the aforementioned Warner Brothers and others that, you know, are, are shelving a number of things. And it's, I, it's not 100% that it's because there was a wolf message or this message. I think it's the erosion of the audience because you're building in that direction. That's my opinion, though. They're, they may tell you and back off and do cite something very different as a reason for making changes. Well, when you scrap a movie that you already put $200 million in, there's a problem. There's a problem. Um, and, 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 and then tell people, we're not even going to put it on streaming. We're not putting it anywhere. Nobody will see this. Uh, the bad boy. And so, uh, um, you knew that when you were making it, you know, if it was that bad, you changed the records or whatever. You, know, you get somebody to punch up the script. You do something. But, by the way, um, the, the merger with Discovery uh, came in uh, in April of this year. Uh, we talked about when John Blum, who was part of Liberty uh, Media, was part of, um, uh, of Warner Brothers Discovery now, uh, talking about CNN and their approach to the news and, and basically implying you know, it shouldn't be about agenda, it should be just about reporting the news. These are things that, you know, you, you have to factor in when, and, and a major company like Disney jumped into it when they went after what they thought was just a political move going after the current governor of Florida and the legislative body. And we said from the beginning, what they're not seeing is they're going to war with parents. And that was the parental rights bill and and how the liberals went after it and the, the company, Disney. You know, I mean, they own massive industry in Florida and decide that they're gonna, you know, draw a line in the sand. As we said, not with legislators or governors, it's with the parents and your fight was in an effort to teach children sexualized content starting at the age of five, you won't win that war with parents. Well, you're talking about shelving movies that, that cost $200 million, and you're like, number one in any business, you say, how the hell did you get that point? Right. How did you get this right. point? You spent it, and you didn't figure this thing out? That's unacceptable. But then, when you when you take, because I, I, I look at the, I'll never forget the fan is saying, I'm paraphrasing for Disney. You you wish that it should be appropriate to teach sexualized content in schools five year old? You really wish to die on this hill? Do you really and it was such an incredible moment because that's what Disney focuses on. It's all kids. Yeah. And for Disney to do that, you take those two together and you've got to be on the board of directors of Disney and you've got to be saying something's gotta be done here because this is just a, the only thing keeping us going is that long-standing name that we've had and the reputation that we've had for the longest time. And maybe people will say, well, you know, that's just a blip here or something like that. But it's not a blip when you endorse teaching sexualized content to five-year-olds. Yeah. You can't win that. And your only job is to get parents to take their kids or buy their DVDs or to take them to Disney World. Yep. You know, and, I mean, and, so and to pay for the streaming every month and right, all these things right. where you invite basically 
uh, that brand into your home over and over and over again. And here's the thing, uh, you know, Iger thanked uh, Chappick for his you know, leadership uh, through COVID. Well, we can, you can look COVID, post COVID, entertainment choices, and especially when you get into, uh, uh, you know, inflation, uh, possible recession, all of these things factor into how, of course, entertainment money, if there is any, is going to be spent. And so you have to build that image uh, and that brand to be long-term in the minds of the, the parents, but also in those children who will one day, many of them, also become parents. That's what you do. You build that you know, legacy branding to go generation after generation. And those are the things that you can't do if you're getting into cultural wars, especially one like they were getting into in Florida, that you're just not going to win it. You aren't. And once you have done that kind of damage, I don't know if there is a way to rebuild I don't know how you rebuild that trust again because many parents are looking at it and I think during COVID when they were when remote learning, you know, I, I've heard this I don't know how many times. Parents being in the room while they could, you know, I mean or maybe, you know, down the hall or whatever, but they could hear what was going on in the virtual classroom. It's like, well, what was that? taking notes, being more involved, and homeschooling had a bit of a role during that whole thing, but parents were learning and they were being more involved, and as, and, and then what that does, that kind of uh, creates this whole new slate where you have to rebuild the trust all over again, whether it's a brand like Disney, whether it's, um, you know, the teaching environment, whatever it is. You look to protect your kids and say, look, I, I want to make sure, you know, that I'm aware of things that are going on. And if I don't trust the brand, it's very simple uh, to not give them money. Well, when it's your kids, too, mm -hmm. and you talk, start talking about something as endorsing such a radicalized concept of teaching sexualized content to five-year-olds, I... I that imagery is so bad to the vast majority of parents out there, I don't, I've always wondered, how do you ever get by? You make it by it with a certain percentage of the left that doesn't want to admit what Disney was endorsing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That, you know, just go, oh, don't say gay. They didn't want to say, nothing to do with saying gay. Nothing to do with that. No. It had to do with five-year-olds. And so you have a number of people that are just in denial about what that law or what the left wanted to do and what that law was actually about mm. and then what Disney said about it because that's what it got down to. We would be teaching sexualized content to five-year-olds and six-year-olds and seven-year-olds. Right. Right. And the average parent is going to say, no, absolutely not. No, we don't do that. No, let them be children. And the fact that it, Disney puts into mind the people that no matter what they say, that if they can put in the message that they want in a subliminal way or whatever, I believe that they will. You can't win that argument. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, you know, that's, those are the things. And, and so you're, you're fighting that battle, that war with parents who decide if you get their money. I, it's over their it's over their children you're fighting with them over their children why would you ever do that the only goal is to make sure that you provide a uh, you know uh, your mission statement should be providing a a very family friendly safe form of entertainment that parents can trust. Thank you.